Well, joining us now is Lisa Singer from Elmer's, and you have a beautiful piece of wall art to show us. This is actually your wedding photograph. It is. And it was very easy to do, and you're going to show us how to yes. do it, right? Yes. First, we're going to start with foam board, and we're going to cut a seven and a half inch by seven and a half inch square with a craft knife. We've pre-measured ours, which I highly recommend, and we simply make that cut all along the cross there. Okay. Go ahead and, and set sorry. that aside. Okay. Now we're working on a mat because we don't want to damage our table, right? Exactly, exactly. The knives are very sharp, so we don't want to damage them. Next, we're going to glue the two pieces of foam board together. We're going to just use our fabric and uh, paper glue mm -hmm. and spread it out here. We're just going to do the top corner since we're on TV here. Okay. And we're going to want to spread that glue all the way along to the edge. Okay, and that would go all the way around. Right. You know, I love the fact that this mat has a grid on it, so it really helps us with measurements. It really does. So you can make sure that you get it exactly right. And working okay. with foam board is great too, because it's so light and versatile. We'll go okay. ahead and set that aside so it can dry. We're going to pick up our glue again to uh, adhere the side of the ribbon to give it a really finished look, and you can hide the seam as well. Okay, we we'll go all the way around. Go all the way around. You want to pull it tight. And then press you got it that. Down. Press it down. Pull it around to the other edge, and then we're actually going to pin it to help hold it in place for TV. Right. And you know, the, I've noticed the nice thing about this glue is that it does dry clear. So if it you does. get a little bit extra somewhere, it really, really doesn't. Um, it really doesn't matter. And it also right. dries flexible as well. Right. Well, great. that's always really good yeah. to know. <laughs> that's good to know. Now I notice you have a really nice lace paper background and. Lace paper is so popular, it's so wonderful to use, but how easy is it to stick on here? Actually, with a spray adhesive, it's very easy. Okay. So just apply it on. Uh even coat. You want to make sure you do that in a well ventilated area as yeah, well. Yes, so I'm actually not going to spray this in here, but we did pre spray it just a little bit, but we would just go over mm -hmm. lightly and then turn it over. Yep. And, and then I'll let you just position that. Okay. It does have a little bit of an open time, so we, you can move it right. around. Right, you can move it around just a little bit, then you want to press it into place. And our next step is to take our uh, purple mat, and we're going to go ahead and apply some more, some more glue to this. Again, Again you want a sponge brush. Yep, you want to <laughs> spon sponge brush it completely to all the edges. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and place that into the center of the frame. Now next we're going to take that seven by seven inch square that we cut earlier. Okay. Actually, do you want to just cut oh, through a little sure. bit? I know we were talking as yep. we were working. And sometimes, and sometimes it does we take... have to go back over it again right. to make sure it goes all the way through. Now on the on the 12 by 12 mats that we did as well, we actually did two and glued them together just to make it a little bit thicker. Right, right. Okay, and this so one, we we're just going to use one. Now let me bring that back in for you. Okay. Or do you want to glue the photograph down uh, I was going to go ahead and glue the photograph okay. down. And we're just using an acid-free glue here to adhere the picture down to the foam board. Okay. Now we're using a paper glue because foam board, it actually is paper. And that it's is on correct. both sides, right? It is paper on both sides with a little bit of foam in the center. So we'll go ahead and, and center it up again using the grid. Just place it gently down into place. Okay. Now we're doing everything pretty quickly because we're on TV and so right. we do have time constraints, but at home you would make sure that all these surfaces are really covered well with right. the adhesive. Mm -hmm. Which the foam brush is great for that. Next we're going to take the ribbon to add an accent to the bottom of the photo. We've got a glue dot here. Okay. I, ha side. I have that hiding yep. right under here. And we're just going to apply that down to each side. And you just push and it appears yep. like magic. It, it is does. there. <laughs> it is there. So we're um, going to slip that underneath and just wrap it around. You want to pull it tight so you get a good professional look on this. Right. And then go ahead and take our, our paper glue again. And just, we'll just leave it like yep. that for right now. We'll just pop it right there in the middle. I'm going to center it That is it such there. a beautiful photograph, Oh, thank Lisa. you. 
There we are. There we are. And then we're also going to embellish with a flower I noticed on the finish one. Right. But there's an extra thick glue, I think, we yes. can use for that. Yes, we're going to use a tacky glue um, because we do have more of a fabric type of material here that has a little bit of a backing on it that we want to make sure we get a good bond to that. So I'm going to put a little bit just on the center there and then just attach that to the ribbon. Glue that so in that place. It's all held that down is gorgeous. Place. Let's take a look at the finished project. I'm going to turn it over. And what do I see on the back here? <laughs> well, we're going green, so we've taken pop tops and pulled them off and adhered them with a special adhesive because we're gluing metal to metal. paint over here. So this is actually the tab from a, uh, a soda can and yep. then a thicker adhesive because it is metal, right? Correct. That is so cool. Recycling is, yes. is all about recycling, right? It is. Now let's take a look at the other project that you have here. Okay. You have some techniques on here and the one that I really want you to show us is the how you got the black line around the photograph. Okay. Well, we're actually using a special tool that is a marker with a blade tucked inside. So we're going to use a ruler to help us get a really clean line. Mm -hmm. So you just need to line yeah, it up. Yeah, you just line it up uh -huh. and you're going to press down and pull the tool towards you. Okay. Now, I notice when you're using these tools with the blade inside, mm -hmm. there's a, is a special way to hold it. We hold it right. just a little bit more upright. We hold it a little bit more upright mm -hmm. just to engage the blade. So it's going blade. to cut. Well, Julie, let me show you again. Move our ruler back into position. As you can see, I'm holding the marker almost straight up and pulling it back towards me to get that mark on there. So what that does, it cuts and it puts a border on exactly. the Exactly, so you as can well. see that perfect edge. That, that is you get. really cool. Lisa, thank you so much. These are really great projects. Thank you. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.